Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our lesson 12 on Postman Beginners Tutorial Concepts. So as you all know, I've published my lesson 11 where I've explained you how can we run Postman from Windows command line. So this is very important for you guys to watch my previous lesson, lesson 11 before you continue with this particular session. So in this session, I'm going to teach you how can we integrate Postman with a continuous integration tool called Jenkins. So in this lesson, I'm going to tell you how to install Jenkins and then how can we integrate Postman with the Jenkins. So the topics that we are going to cover, how to download and install Jenkins and set up Postman job in Jenkins and then how can we run Postman from Jenkins. So please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Now let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these actions practically. So this is my system. Okay. So first, how can we download and install Jenkins? So this I have already explained you guys in my previous sessions. If you go to this session here, if, it, if I can show you here, so if you want to really see the video how to download Jenkins, you can go to my channel and then refer to this particular video. So where I have clearly explained step by step, how can we install, how can we configure Jenkins and then how can we log into Jenkins. Okay, so I'm going to paste the URL in the description. So you can directly uh, refer the description and find the URL. Okay. And now let's, what is our next step? The next step is set up Postman in Jenkins. So before that, let's log into Jenkins. So how can we log into Jenkins? First of all, I have to start my Jenkins server by using command call. So where is my Jenkins? So my Jenkins is sitting here in C drive under Ravikant, right? So under, sorry, C drive and Selenium automation. So this is what my Jenkins var file is. So first I need to change the directory to the var file and then java hyphen jar and then jenkins.var jenkins dot work. So this is going to run the server and then it's going to up the services of Jenkins. Okay. So let's wait. It's running. We are activating Jenkins server. As soon as you run that command. So once it activates the Jenkins, all you need to do is you need to basically Enter localhost hyphen uh, localhost colon 8080. So this will open your Jenkins website. Okay. I think it's up and running. Now we should be able to log into Jenkins. Okay. So this is my Jenkins username and password. So just log in. Once you log into Jenkins, now what is our next step? Our next step is to set up postman job in Jenkins. How can we set up postman job in Gen Jenkins? Okay. So let's go to new item and then name this as postman pipeline demo. Okay. And select freestyle project. I'm creating a pipeline in Jenkins. Okay. And click OK. So as soon as you click OK, now 
if you refer my previous video, I have explained you a couple of concepts, right? One is how to run the Jenkins, sorry, how to run Postman by using command line. So the same concept we are going to use here, okay? So here, all we need to do is we need not to configure anything else. You have to go to build section. If you are using Windows, you need to execute, you need to select execute Windows batch command. Okay. If you are using Mac, you can select execute shell. Okay. I'm going to select execute Windows batch command. If you remember in my previous video, I have showed you how to save or how to export your entire Postman collection, entire Postman collection. This is my collection. I want to run all these scripts. I want to run all these requests, right? So we have exported this collection into my local folder. So this is what the local folder where I have exported, right? So, so for that, first I need to shift my directory to that folder. So let me tell you. So I have explained my in my previous video, we are going to change the directory to the Postman collection. And then we have used a Newman command. Newman run and this is what I'm running. I'm running the JSON collection. Newman run enter. So this is what we executed in my previous session, right? So here also we are going to do same thing by using Jenkins. First, I'm changing my directory. The same command I am going to provide in my Jenkins here cd and then I'm changing my directory to the collection json file okay and then execute the command newman hyphen run newman space run the json file newman run json file correct so that's what i'm going to specify in jenkins okay and then apply and save once you save the pipeline now you can build this pipeline that means you can run the pipeline so let's click on build now as soon as you click on build now it's going to create a new pipeline and you can go to console output to see the results. So you can see the results are displayed here. Okay, let's change this to view as plain text. If you see here, the collection run happened. My first run is this, I got an error. And the second request is this. And third request is this. We analyzed the same results in the command prompt also yesterday right so yesterday means in my previous session okay if you see the same results are pasted here also i'm getting the same results in command prompt if you see jenkins pipeline so how many iterations only one iteration we executed we passed three requests out of which one request is failed see that is what it's showing the error correct so that means our pipeline is successfully ran so we ran the pipeline successfully right without any issues correct hope you all understand the concepts how can we download and install jenkins and how can you set up the postman job or the pipeline in jenkins and how to run postman from jenkins if you have any queries Please provide your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.